Today, after a lot of research and testing, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm increasing my watch's battery life by 12 to 24 hours. What's up guys, Mike again, and welcome back to my channel where I find awesome things to simplify your life. And first of all, due to popular demand, I just want to let you know that we're going to be reviewing the Tick Watch Pro in our next video, comparing it directly with the Samsung Galaxy Watch. It's going to be an awesome video where we dive into the details so that you know which watch is the right one for you. So make sure you're subscribed and turn the bell on to get notified when the video is uploaded. So without further ado, here's how to increase the battery life on your new Galaxy Watch. First, we're going to turn off all the non-obvious things that are draining your battery life. We're gonna choose a watch face that saves your battery and we're gonna use different settings at different times of the day. And full disclosure, results may vary due to how different you use your watch or what tips you take away from this video and which ones you do not take away from this video. It's really up to you. So right off the bat, there are really obvious things and I'm just gonna show them on the screen here that you should turn off to stop draining your battery. So the first non-obvious thing you should turn off is Bixby. That's right, Bixby's the culprit. And what I mean by that is because it's a smart assistant, it's always listening for hey b for it to trigger the assistant and that actually takes quite a lot of battery so to disable it go into your watch and choose Bixby and under the three dots you'll be able to deactivate the voice listening and the second thing is really to turn off the frequency of how frequent your weather app is updating so to do this you must go into the gear app on your phone under applications choose weather and then you can choose the frequency that it is updating and for me I chose it at six hours and you can disable it completely and that's totally up to you and the third thing is to really limit the notifications that you get sent to your watch from your phone Again, go into the gear app on your phone and under notifications, make sure you don't have 100 apps that are enabled to send you notifications. For myself, I only enable two apps, which is WhatsApp and Messenger, and that's how I get messages sent to me, and that's really all I need. Finally, the fourth thing is to close your recent apps, because if you have a timer going or if your S health is on, it actually drains quite a bit of battery in the background. So to do this, click your home button and choose recent apps, and then just say close all, and they're all gone. And the next thing is choosing a battery-friendly watch face, because as we all know, the screen is one thing that takes up the most battery. So with how OLED works, choosing a wash face that has a lot of black space is actually really energy efficient because it completely turns the pixel off and it, therefore it doesn't use any energy. So for myself, I do use and recommend this watch face called Tap to Save Battery. It shows me exactly what I need to know and if I want to see more details, I double tap it on the screen and I see more statistics. And when you don't, you just double tap it again and it reverts to normal. So with this wash face, less than 10% of my pixels are being used. That's why it's so battery efficient and it looks good as well. And the last thing that I found really useful was to turn my watch to airplane mode and night mode at the same time when I'm sleeping. So with only night mode on, I usually lose around 5 to 7%, but with night mode and airplane mode on, I only lose 2% of my battery overnight. Because when you're sleeping, you don't really need a Bluetooth connection to your phone because you're not going to see those notifications. And with these modes on, it will still track your sleeping data and your heart rate if you have that on. So when you wake up, you turn airplane mode off, your data will sync to your phone directly, and you just save yourself like 8 hours of Bluetooth. And then the next thing is, when you're at work, or when I'm at work, I don't use my watch that much. So I usually put it on battery saving mode so that I don't get disturbed and distracted and I can focus on my work. And uh, yeah, and that saves me a lot of battery as well. And two extra things for you, you can actually monitor the battery usage on your watch by going to the gear app and clicking on the battery and it will show you a list of apps and how much they've been using your battery since the last charge. And also, and I don't know if this actually works, but I just do it because it makes me feel better. I like to fully reset the lithium battery on my watch. And I do this by draining my watch battery lower than 10% and then I turn it off and that's where I charge it to 100% without any disruptions in between. And I do this with my phone, with my iPad, and my electronics, and it's just something I've always done in the past. And uh, yeah, if you know anything about this, comment below, I'd love to know, or if I'm just kinda crazy. So that's it for now. I'd love to know what kind of results you guys are getting. And if you have more tips, post them down below in the comments so everyone can see. And if this video helped you in any way, smash that like button to tell the magic YouTube algorithm to send this video out to more people to help them. And again, we're reviewing the Take Watch Pro in our next video. So make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.